Well tried. Money for Magic Precheurs come late. They're set to go and they're away in racing. And over near the outside backstop, jumped away OK. So did Magic Prasure chase a leader and the great cap tonight down on the inside is handy to them. Joe Bananas is pushing through in the centre as they settle down and go to the post the first time. Chase a leader led Joe Bananas, cap tonight with the rail and then Camargo, Magic Prasure easing back about fifth. At the turn out of the straight, they're followed by Casino Heights, Skylight Jimmy and backstop had dropped out to be last of all. By the 1,600 metres and Chase a leader is the leader. Three quarters to cap tonight, Joe Bananas Travelling three deep and then Camargo tucked away fourth. Magic Prasure is a handy fifth, nearly a length away. Two or three lengths, Casino Heights, Skylight Jimmy on the rail and backstop is a length away last of the eight out to the 1,200 metres, and Chase a leader out in front by almost a length to cap tonight. He's staying away from the rails. In third placing, then Joe Bananas caught out wide. A length and a half, Camargo fourth on the inside, a half Magic Prasure. Two Casino Heights, and then Skylight Jimmy, and last of all is Backstop. Been a genuine tempo in the back near the 1,000 metres. Has the saddle moved on Joe Bananas? It might have, yes, it has here. Chase a leader is in front, a length and a half. Joe Bananas, the rider, in awful trouble there on the outside, uh, Dale Smith, saddle's gone on it, Captainite inside him passes him now, over on the inside holding fourth Camargo from Magic Pressure, he's had to go about four or five wide to get around Joe Bananas, then Casino Heights, backstop taking off to make its run, leaving Skylight Jimmy at the back, by the 600 metres, chase a leader in front of Captainite, Magic Pressure deep out coming with his run, Casino Heights chiming in too and Camargo's getting up along the inside with a run, clear of backstop and Skylight Jimmy, Magic Pressure out about four wides taking over the running from Chase Ali to Casino Heights. Camargo still coming home along the inside. Skylight Jimmy trying to squeeze up on the inside and backstop around them there across the track. Magic Pressure has been joined by backstop on the outside. Chase Ali kicking back with Casino Heights and Camargo. Backstop from Magic Pressure with 100 to go. Backstop starts to draw away now. Casino Heights and Chase Ali battle on well, but backstop came away and won it well. Photo for the miners between Casino Heights, Chase Ali and Magic Pressure of the minute then came skylight jimmy camargo captainite dropped out and joe bananas with the saddle moving mid-race last to complete the course backstop is the winner number seven written by peter mertens who bided his time and came with a well-timed run to draw away and make it two in a row here at mooney valley trained by dean saxon written by peter mertens who's had a terrific start to the season number seven backstop taking the race out now second placing goes to number three casino heights written by vlad durick and the third number four magic pressure has got it on the outside written by james wink seven three and four seven three four bad luck if you try joe bananas with the saddle slipping on him early in the piece put to dale smith at an awkward position he couldn't do much else on it seven three four chase a leader running fourth and fifth home was Camargo, who got a rails run and looked a chance there, but just petered out a little on the run. Peter Merton's having a great trot. He steered backstop home, $4.80 and $1.90. Casino Heights, $2.60. And Magic Presseur, $1.90, 7 3 and 4 Elwick Race 7 is only a minute away. Number one, Best Pal, $3. Number three, El Rebar, $8.50. Uh, number four, Martinelli. Again, that is Sim again, pulling up sore across the back. And don't uh, forget, as I mentioned, Darren Beatman has that inquiry with uh, the uh, Sullivans after the performance of Pravda earlier in the day. She's purring moving in. Dynamic Love at 270, Unworldly 370, and French Braids at $5.50. But it's a great duel here between these two, and there's a bit of a tip around preserve given a chance at $12.60. Uh, they're all in. Silver Shadow, Group 2. Great line-up of fillies here. Unworldly will get back. Big wraps on her. Dynamic Love will be on the speed, and there is plenty of that. They're ready to run. Lady Mulan just moving. Balances up. Racing. Lady Milan went up in the air at the start. She was very slow to go. French braids and eight eights away very quickly with Arathea. Dynamic Love is showing plenty of speed near the inside and Happy Empress not far away as French braids eases to be in about fifth position. On the fence she's purring. Holy Honey is wide out. Two lengths to the stable mates. Unworldly on the outside of Preserve from Lady Milan and Donna Dior the outside last. Eight eights across onto the fence led by two lengths. Happy Empress. Trouble back in the field. She's purring was checked. Third is 
Zarathia, fourth Dynamic Love Defence. They were followed moving up out wider on the track by Holy Honey, French Braids inside of her. Unworldly starting a run, a good six lengths off the lead, just in front of her, she's purring. Then preserved Donna Dior and last of all, Lady Milan in the silver shadow as they approach the bend. It's the Dubbo flying filly, eight eights in front by a length. Collis angling out on Dynamic Love and she trotted up on the outside to be second. Then Happy Empress and Unworldly pulled to the outside running on. Eight eight still in front, Dynamic Love can't pick up the Dubbo filly. Eight eights a length in front of Dynamic Love and Unworldly starting to whiz home. Little eight eights clinging on for dear life. She's going to do it all the way in the silver shadow. Great win. Eight eights by a long neck Dynamic Love or Unworldly. Then Lady Milan who's made up tremendous ground from Preserve and Donna Dior. Happy Empress, Arathea well back. She's purring, French braids knocked up. Holy honey last in. Gary Lund's biggest success I would imagine as a trainer. And this Zedity filly wound right up for this uh, performance today. After finishing down the track in the San Domenico behind Zariz, out of the gates like a flash for Brian York, just when it looked like dynamic love and then maybe unworldly were going to grab her. This very tenacious little filly has had a dig deep and has come out with all guns ablaze the last 100 metres, defying all of the challenges of the two heavily back favourites. And she has caused an upset at around $25.10. Gary Lunn, who has done a marvellous job from his double base, rarely comes to town if he doesn't think he can win. Well, there it was, a boil over. Uh, Brian York, um, he's uh, ridden three for the day, Brian York. He got home on the first on uh, Motiti Road. He then uh, won the fifth on uh, Zariz, which was a favourite, and this one was a knockout for most punters. Eight eights. Well, there you are. Race 8 at Canterbury Park, due at 4.40 Eastern Time. There's a quick 70. Money for number 2, Mrs Bentley. Nashra Willa, $3.10. Number 3, Mr Touchwood, 10 uh, Number 6, Ruling Region, 13 Number 7, Donny Brasco, $6.70. Number 8, Cotton on Flyer, $11. The other two, number 9, Sal Rasher, $4.70. Long odds about Master Ponton. Uh, at Toowoomba in the first, the placings were 9 at 10 and 6. Trifecta ought to be all right. $17.20, the runner-up. And Sterling Glances, one of the favourites, at $1.70. 9, 10 and 6. Set at the Valley, here at Miles. And they're racing. Mrs. Bentley got away OK with Maximel. Master Pot on a little slow. Mr. Touchwood ridden from the rear, cutting across the hills early. Sal Archer got away fast. And so too did Western Outlaw with Plushka deep out going forward. But Maximel led settling into stride. Sal Archer up to second. Plushka deep out to third. And then Western Outlaw. Donny Brasco next fifth on the outside of Mrs. Bentley. They're trailed then by Cotton on Flyer. Master Pot on the rail. Ruling region second last and out wide. And a length and a half to Mr. Touchwood. Into the back now, the leader is Maximella, neck clear. Plaska second, two and a half, Sal Racha third, one Donny Brasco. Three quarters away, Western Outlaw, Cotton on Flyer, and then Mrs Bentley outside, Master Ponton. A length further back is Ruling Region, tracking out three wide, and a length to Mr Touchwood. At the 800 turn, and the leader is Maximella, about a head in front only. From Plaska, Sal Racha three out, Donny Brasco comes four deep. Two lengths, Cotton on Flyer, Western Outlaw, Master Ponton on the inside. Then came Mrs Bentley, giving them a fair start getting to the outside as they came by the 600 metre mark. Ruling Regent well back and Mr Touchwood. Pluska took the lead. Donny Brasco immediately challenges and Sal Racha runs on two. Maximel's had enough and here's Mrs Bentley coming with a run round the outside. She's quickly got up within about a length and a half of the leading horses. Sal Racha in front of Donny Brasco and Mrs Bentley. Cotton on flyer starting to run home well too. Sal Racha around the turn led Cotton on flyer and Mrs Bentley the deepest. Mrs Bentley and Cotton on flyer race to the lead over Sal Racha, then Mr Touchwood. Cotton on flyers about a half. Now a length in front, pulling clear from Mrs Bentley. And Cotton on flyer came away and won it by two lengths to Mrs Bentley. Third, Mr Touchwood. And then Western Outlaw and Sal Racha, who weakened. So did Donny Brasco, ruling regent, Plushka master Ponton, and Maximel dropped out to last. Yeah, number eight, Cotton on flyer, written by um, Wayne Hawkeye. Uh, Cotton on flyer, $10.40 and $2.70. Mrs. Bentley, the favourite, $1.50, and number three, Mr. Touchwood, $2.40. Had every chance, Mrs. Bentley, and didn't quite go on with the Cotton on Flyer drawing away to win quite well. That was race seven at the Valley. Race eight is due at five o'clock. 
Elwick Race 8 coming up in two minutes. They're behind the barrier stools. Number one, official totes at uh, Cheltenham Park. All cheer. What report? Keltreta, along with the Quinellas, which are quite substantial. And all of the trifectas, Super Tab, New South Wales and Queensland paid in excess of 4000 those exotic pools do build up late in the day. And then the Gold Coast, Glen Al, Iron Eyes and Minstrella. Uh, Quinellas and Trifectas for Queensland, New South Wales and Supertown. They are behind the barrier about...